Hello everyone. Um, so today, today's video is going to be kind of something new. It's going to be kind of a vlog a little bit. Um, not really sure what to name the vlog to be honest. I'll probably just name it vlog number one or something. Uh, vlogging seems like an interesting idea. Um, now I'm not going to be a real good vlogger like Casey Neistat or some shit obviously. But, um, oh, sorry, my cat's annoying me. Hey, come on, come here, come on. You can see her. Um, but vlogging seems like something, like, pretty cool. Like, the only reason, what are you doing? Like, probably every once in a while I'll vlog, just because I don't really have many ideas to make a video for. Um, and that's soon going to change because I'm going to start thinking of a bunch of ideas for, uh, video making. And if you are interested in what kind of videos I should make, or if you are, if you want to see a video to make, what? then you can write in the comments below. No. Comments below on what, uh, kind of video I should make. That's going to be bad. I hope that doesn't continue to go on. Hello! He's so cute! Oh! She is. She's adorable. But this video, I'm pretty much going to be talking about what I'm doing, what's been going on lately. Um, um, what I have been doing for about a week now or so, um, I have been studying for my GD, as everybody should know that I've been working on getting my GD done uh, just because it needs to get done and honestly I want to actually end up going to college um, hopefully I probably will be going to college just hopefully you know if I have the money and stuff like that uh, go for a um, physics major minor in mathematics or something that's what I'm hoping to do is major in physics and minor in mathematics because that's all I really want to be doing is mathematics and equations, solving things, because that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so, GD is the first step. Um, I don't have my license either. Um, and I'm 20, almost 21 years old. So, I need to get my license very fast. I won't really have a car to get or anything like that. Um, just because... I don't have much money. Um, I've spent a lot of money in the past, like, seven months or eight months. Um, another thing I would like to talk about is I am single again. Me and my girlfriend, uh, ex-girlfriend, broke up. And it, it's not bad. I, it's not bad. Like, like, I don't want everybody to be like, oh, so sorry, you know, so sorry that it didn't work out. But it's like, it's a really good thing. Because it just did not work out between us. We were just very different people. And <laughs> it just didn't work out, you know. And I'm not going to dwell on it, you know. I'm like, I'm just, I'm much ha happier being like single for now, you know. It's just so much better than, you know. I'm not going to really talk too much about it just because it's, there's not much to talk about. Just basically, we didn't work out. And... It just happens, you know? Like, there's no point in dwelling on it or anything like that. It's just, it's much better for me to be single right now until I find someone else. Um, quit. Quit. She's like stretching her claws out on me. Uh, but another thing I w I've been reading a lot also, as you all can probably see. Hold on. Here's all my books right there. Um... I'll show you guys um, what videos I, I mean, what videos, what books I have finished. As of right now, I'm reading this, Relativity, um, on a special, uh, uh, special and, my brain's not working, general and special relativity. Uh, it's a very short book, you know, it'll probably only take me probably a day or two to finish it. It's very short, the font's big. Um, 
So far it's a really good book, but I haven't been reading this one. I want to read something else. So that one I want to read... Uh, I just recently finished this one, The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. Um, it is probably the fav my favorite book that I've read so far. Um, it's basically on just string theory, you know, uh, dimensions, curled up dimensions, all of that kind of stuff, you know, string theory, uh, just pretty much all of that. And it's a, it was a very, very good read. Um, the ending of the book was fantastic and it made it like really, really good. Um, I did, I did, a lot of people aren't going to like this book, obviously. The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. Obviously, as you know, The God Delusion. Um, it's by one of my favorite people, Richard Dawkins. He is evolutionary biologist and author. An amazing person. Uh, one of my favorite people. He's hilarious and he's very, inf he's very educational. He's like very good at speaking. And I love his voice. <laughs> um, I need to read uh, Death by Black Hole by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, the other books I've finished were God is Not Great by Christopher Hitchens, another one of my favorite authors. Um, he's probably one, he's probably one of the, my favorite people, you know, he died, I don't know what year he died in, I think it was my, maybe 2011, maybe 2010, I may be wrong. Uh, he died from esophageal cancer. Uh, he was hilarious and he was definitely one of my favorite people. So if you want to read a book on religion or um, just get more informed on religion itself, that is a good read. And the book I want to read the most is The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. That guy is interesting. Uh, this book is probably like a must read for most people um, just because it's like The Origin of Species, like talking all about evolution and all that stuff. And that that stuff is very, very fascinating to me. Um, hey! And, like, I've been wanting to read this book for a long time, but I've kind of been putting it off and reading other books that are shorter, because this book is very, very long. Uh, but this is probably one of the books I'm going to be reading next. Um, but that's pretty much what all my life has been, pretty much. Uh, pretty much taking care of my... I did, I did just recently. Um, hold on. I did recently just finish How I Met Your Mother, TV show. I don't know how many people watch that, but I've finished the series once before. Um, it has like a 9.2 rating out of 10 or something like that. It's definitely one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, an amazing, amazing series. Like, I don't know why I love that kind of stuff. Uh, my favorite TV shows are like Friends, uh, Seinfeld, at least the... They're, they're not my favorite, favorite TV shows. They're like my favorite TV shows that were, like, kind of on television, you know? Not like these Netflix or uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is obviously one of my favorite series. <sighs> that is so annoying. I apologize. Like, it doesn't go on for too long. But this cat. Uh, but uh, um, How I Met Your Mother is one of my favorite TV shows. Um... I don't know why, I just love that kind of stuff. It's like stuff I don't really have to use my mind on, you know? It's just kind of like, I can watch, enjoy, have a good laugh. Um, that 70s show is another one of my favorite TV shows. Seinfeld, Friends, Game of Thrones, Supernatural. Um, quit. Her claws are just out, and she's just using them on my leg. Can't see her. But she's adorable. This this cat right here um, is, like, amazing. She is such an asshole, though. Complete asshole to my dog. Uh, my dog's not really an aggressive dog. He's not very, like, violent, you know. He's just kind of curious. Because he never got neutered, and he's 13 years old. I don't know how I feel about neutering the animals, you know. Uh, I don't know. Uh... But he got, never got neutered, so whenever the cat's around my dog, my dog kind of goes crazy and tries going up to her a little bit. But she, he keeps his distance, 
but she gets so pissed off because she's an outside cat. She's like always been an outside cat and always fights other cats. So anything of an animal type uh, that she sees as a threat. So once it was downstairs, it was with my family. She like slapped the hell out of him and he started bleeding from his nose. I got so pissed off at the cat. I just let her outside. Their claws are really fascinating. They hurt like hell, but they're extremely fascinating. It's just, I wish I, could, I wish I had retractable claws. I wish I could just be like, whoosh, retract, whoosh. Because that would be, that would be terrible, you know? If a human had those, that would be awful. What are you doing? And, uh, so that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, my tarantula's doing pretty good. Um, I just fed her recently. She's getting kind of old. I think she's around nine years old. Um... She molted maybe a few months ago. Oh, yeah, I have that video. I have a time-lapse video of my tarantula molting. I might upload that. Maybe. Maybe I might upload that. That'd be a really cool thing to watch if people are interested in it. Um, but pretty much my goals right now in life are to get my GED, uh, focus on my mental health, you know, keep it stable. Uh, me being single now, and me being like by myself again, that's the best way to keep me stable and it's the best way to keep me happy. Um, I'm not good with people and I just love being by myself, you know? I love doing everything by myself. I love just living my life by myself. I know that's pretty shitty and not many people would like that, but that's just who I am and I love it. So I'm gonna be like a hundred times more happier by myself. I'm going to be more, more demanding on what I'm going to do. Um, I can finish things much better by myself. I can just pretty much do everything better by myself. So GD, hope I can get that done within next month. Um, that's the plan. Um, try to read as many books as I possibly can. Uh, get more books um, because I just love learning. I love knowledge. I love figuring out things. Um, quit. Um, reading, you know, that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, go to college, um, get into physics, do all that stuff. Hopefully, I have a hard time keeping myself motivated. Um, I've always had trouble with motivation ever since I've had this illness, which um, it was worse. It was at its worst when I was like 13, 14. And that's when all my motivation kind of just disappeared. So it's hard sometimes to get my motivation back and to get into that like mindset. It's very difficult for me, but it's very possible when I do it, I can do it if I want to, you know. Um, time for me is, is like, irrelevant. <laughs> Wish I was a fourth dimensional being or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's what my life is going to consist of. Um, helping people with the Facebook page I created. Uh, I've responded to everyone so far. Uh, probably 50, 60 people, maybe 70 people I've responded to. Um, I give pretty good advice. Um, I love talking to people. You know, I love I love helping people. Um, I love giving people advice. Uh, I love giving people knowledge on things. And that's what I plan on doing. Um, and now I have a lot more time for all of that shit now. And uh, that's what my life's going to consist of. Um, and then hopefully down the road I'll be, I don't know, one of the best physicists of all time. If I mean, I have the mind for it, but do I have the motivation for it? That's the thing. Um, it's either physics or go into zoology, work with animals. Um, now, I'd be, I'd be excellent at both. Excellent. Animals love me. I love animals. Like... This cat actually absolutely adores me. Every single animal I've ever had has adored me. Every animal I'm around adores me, you know. I'm just really good with animals. Like, because I don't have to talk to them. I can just kind of understand them. I can feel the vibe they're feeling. I can understand what they want, what they don't want. And I just love animals. I love the universe more. I love the universe more. I love figuring out problems more. Uh, that's why physics is one of my most interested things that I want to do. But it's very difficult. So, 
that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I also created a Patreon. I know that's kind of like frowned upon, but it's not really frowned upon for people who are smaller YouTubers like myself. And the whole ad thing, ads are super fucked right now. It's been fucked for a while ever since that PewDiePie thing came out with the Wall Street Journal uh, shitting on PewDiePie for no reason, you know, that anti-Semitic shit which was completely ridiculous and uh, now the now all the companies left and all the ads there's not enough ads like all the it's just fucked and you make like negative money like you make no money now so I created a patreon you don't have to do anything you don't have to send money to me but if you do you know that'll be nice uh, not much like just a little anything will help me a little bit um, so there's that. All the links and and are, are down in the description. Uh, all my social media links and uh, the Facebook page. If you ever want to message me, I'll message you back. And I hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you guys later.